Hi, I'm Bill Reeve, and I'm going to show you the process that I've used to make the approximately 1,300 12 by 12 concrete pavers that will make up our patio. Well, I've chosen to uh, do the pavers in the garage, and you can see that it's a very dirty and messy situation, so I put down plastic all over the floor and plastic over my workbench to try to keep the uh, the dust down to a minimum because the dyes that are used with the concrete stain quite a bit and so we want to be careful of that. What we have here is called a vibrating table and um, it has an electric motor underneath it which was controlled by a rheostat and would vibrate the table. Unfortunately it died a couple days ago so I'll have to do it manually but uh, basically what it uses was a, a pulley that I drilled a hole through and uh, bolted on a couple of weights to make it off center. So as it goes around it, it vibrates the table. It's, if you're going to do any numbers of the pavers or, or concrete products, this is a good thing to, to do. So the first step in the process is to unmold and seal the um, batch from yesterday. So we'll do that now. <laughs> Um, this is the clear sealer they use. You can get it at any big box home improvement store. And just pour it in. And basically, I just pull out the sides on either side, put down, and they pop right out. And then apply the sealer. And if you're really good, you have just enough for your last block without any left over. As you can see, these are plastic molds, and sometimes they get beat up a little bit, sometimes they get cracks in the side, but they've been used quite a bit. Um, these ran about $13 a piece, and uh, the reason I went with them is because I got them through a company that is a member of a barter organization, so I didn't have to pay cash for them. There's also uh, rubber or latex molds, which last a lot longer, and some people feel are superior. Um, you have to check that out for yourself and see what you think. So with the last block done, now what we do is spray the molds with just regular old cooking spray. And once the molds are sprayed, just take an old rag and wipe it. So it. You see that when you do that, flakes come off on the side. You want to make sure that they're out of there. Because now comes the time to um, mix the dyes. I've got Harvest Gold, Red, Goldenrod, actually, which I'm pretty much out of black and brown. Brown is my base color for most of the uh, of the blocks. Um, generally I use four ounces of brown as a base and I'll do some blocks just like that with nothing else in them. Uh, other mixes I'll add some black to it or any any combination that you want um, to get the, the look that you want. You just have to experiment. But I found that four ounces of the base color gives a, a good good base. So 
I use a cheap postal meter and put my cup on and then find my tear button and add the die. Okay, so this for this mix, I think I'm going to add some red to, to get it a little more red color. So, so I add about two ounces of red. By varying the mixtures of your base dye and by adding accent colors, you achieve blocks that all don't look the same, which makes for a more pleasing effect. Um, with this batch, I'm going to use red and black as my accents, and so I just take an old paintbrush and sort of toss some in there, sort of randomly. Okay. Time to make some concrete. And as you can see, it's just as messy out here as it was inside. So you want to pick a spot where you're not concerned about getting uh, stained concrete water all over the place. Um, first thing that I do is to fill three jugs, three one gallon jugs with water. Actually, I don't fill them all the way up because I have to leave room for some additives. The first additive is a Concrete bonding adhesive. Um, this one's actually by Quickrite, Quickrite, and uh, do about a four count pour on this. And the other one is a, uh, it's a cast iron uh, additive, which prevents or reduces bleeding, segregation, shrinking, and cracking. And use about two caps full of this. Okay, now it's time to make the concrete. Well, making the concrete is pretty straightforward. Put the uh, concrete in the mixer, add your dye, and add your water, and mix for about five minutes. Uh, this is my high-tech scoop that I made from a gallon jug. 
and I found that about two of these is just the right amount for each mold. So. electric motor would have come in handy to do the vibrating. And now we just put them down on the floor. apply our accent colors. So this is getting to the end of the process. We've done three batches of eight blocks each, including 24. And the last thing to do, except for cleaning up the wheelbarrow and the scent cement mixer is to cover them with plastic to keep moisture in. So that's what we're going to do now. Well, if you think this is a lot of dirty hard work, you're right. Is it worth it? Um, I think so. It's uh, calculated it and probably the total cost per block after the concrete, the um, uh, additives, the molds, and the dye, probably around 65 to 70 cents per square foot. If you compare that to the at least three dollars per square foot that you'd pay to buy these, uh, it's quite a bit of savings. Now the next part of, is the fun of putting them all down, which I got started last year, had about 400 square foot done, and had about, I don't know, more like 900 square foot, and about 400 square foot to go to, until it's done. So thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, and uh, take care.